hello. I want to make some jewelry today outside. I'll show you some examples of ones I've already made. This one I made about an hour ago at my boyfriend's house. This one I also made about an hour ago at my boyfriend's house. I'm just, I got a lot of beads yesterday and I'm very excited. I made this one yesterday. This one, this is the first one I ever made. I made this one yesterday as well. And I made this one yesterday. I really like this one. And I made this one in that video that I don't know if I'm gonna post yet. <laughs> this one's one of my favorite ones. This one is my absolute favorite one. I made this one yesterday. I love it a lot. I can give you a little tour of what beads I have and what beads I'm gonna use. Here are my beads. We got these little opalescent ones. Here, this will be easier. These little pearlescent pink ones. There's a couple of the other beads stuck in here a little bit, but that's okay. These are the necklaces I'm gonna keep. These are the ones I'm planning to sell. Lots of pearls, just fake ones. These are little heart things. I'm not actually gonna use these because these are for a crochet project. Um, but yeah, so then mm, lots of little glass seed beads, stuff like that. Um, this is the cuter, cuter box. So we have some rose quartz, amethyst, uh, I think this is black tourmaline, this one is amazonite, I think that's how you say it, I don't know, but I really like these, I think they're adorable, and this is just blue quartzite. These are children's beads, more children's beads, and by children's I mean like they were sold, marketed to children. I love these ones. These are also children's beads, but I just think they look so so glorious. Look at this. Then this is just crushed glass. Some, I don't know, nice looking glass. Then these are adventuring. More glass. Then glass, 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 turquoise. <laughs> then these are plastic as well. So yeah, I had to angle the camera down a little bit so that you could see kind of what I was picking. If I decide to use any of the wire today, I'll be using these. Other than that, just, just this elastic and some beads. I'm at the park of my childhood. This is the neighborhood that I grew up in. Actually, on my way here, I, it was a very like split decision. I just got back from my boyfriend's house and I decided that I wanted to... I don't know, spend a day making jewelry in the park. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> There's a swing set off in that direction, and I remember I used to come here all the time with my friends in the neighborhood, and we would play a game called Haunted Mansion, I think it was called, or Haunted Elevator or something like that, I don't remember. But um, the whole premise of the game was two people would be on the swings, and they'd be swinging at opposite times, so like, you know, there would always be someone like crossing. So there were always like little gaps, which is where the game came in. The whole premise of the game was to run in between the people like swinging their legs. So there was always some kind of injury involved. But I was really good at that game and I thought it was really fun. I also played a lot of like Littlest Pet Shops. That was my first YouTube channel. I had a YouTube channel that I will not say the name of. I don't care if you find it, I'm just not gonna make it easy for you. Um, but I did have a Littlest Pet Shop channel where I tried to be Sophie GTV. And of course, if you played Littlest Pet Shops and you knew about Littlest Pet Shop YouTube, you know exactly who Sophie GTV is. All of her content was wonderful. I like how I, I did this so that you could see which beads I was picking, but you actually can't. This is what I have so far. I'm kind of just picking beads at random with spaces with like little seed beads as spacers. Ah! A row of two. Um, a row of two and then, yeah. Anyway, for my, I think it was my 11th birthday, we went to Scandia and if you live in Sacramento, then there's a possibility that you know what Scandia is. It is a golf, a mini golf course with an arcade and it's, it's quite small, but there is a um, kind of like a roller coaster type thing. I don't know which color to pick next. <laughs> it's called the Screamer. 
that was the very first time I ever went on the screamer and it was so much fun. I think I went on it like 10 times because for my birthday we had picked a, uh, a like unlimited thing or whatever, I don't know. But um, it was lots of fun and I cried the first time, but I loved going on it all the other times. In this neighborhood that's right here, there were, the kids in the neighborhood were me and then a girl named, uh, a pair of um, sisters named Abby and Audrey, and my dear wonderful friend named Kathleen, who I will, I'm gonna talk about in a second because I think it's really funny. Two guys that I went to school with, and then Kathleen's cousin, and we, and then like a couple other people. We would all like ride our bikes around the neighborhood, you know, as kids do. And at one point, I remember my dad owned a, um, an electric bicycle which was just a, a bike with, that had a motor on it, so it was, I mean, I called it a motorcycle. I was 12, I like, oh no, I was not 12. I was much younger than that, but still. I remember, there's this, there's this one picture, if I find it, I'll put it up on the screen, but um, there's a picture of me and my dad and those, uh, all those kids I was talking about, and we were riding our bikes down the uh, road. Or like, we were gonna start like a race or something, so we were all like lined up. I don't know, maybe I'll just talk about the necklace for, for now, in the meantime. This is what it looks like so far. I like to just put random beads on things, and it just, it looks so cute. You just gotta keep it kind of uh, consistent in the fact that like, all of my chunky beads are spread apart, all my weird ones are spread apart. I try not to have a bunch of like, normal circular beads right next to each other like this. This is a kind of okay because this pearl is like a bigger size. Two is okay. More than that is a little bit repetitive. I like it when they look random because it's cuter. <laughs> it seems that my creativity likes to come in waves of three. So when I was little, all I did was draw. Um, then in third grade, I think, I joined the knitting club at my elementary school and I learned how to knit and I would just knit this scarf like all the time. When you're a third grader, knitting a scarf is a really, really big task. <laughs> so I never finished it. After that, I ended up making uh, like rainbow loom jewelry a lot. So much to the point where in middle school, all I did was sell rainbow loom jewelry. And I actually made quite a bit of money off of that because you know, children like bracelets I guess especially if they're cheap because I only sold mine for 50 cents after that I ended up getting back into drawing again and then after drawing I got back into knitting all throughout high school every winter I would start selling scarves up until my senior year which was 2020 um you know that that was a bummer. After the knitting scarves and stuff, I ended up getting back into jewelry again, and I was making bracelets, but this time, instead of rainbow loom, it was um, with macrame. So I would, I would just use yarn, I wouldn't use embroidery thread. I sold bracelets for a really long time again. But then after that, I got back into art again, and then I was really into art for a really, really long time. Uh, and I did digital art, then I got the job at Michael's, then I got into yarn crafting again. I learned how to crochet, so new medium, uh, or not necessarily new medium, but new technique, I guess. So I'm still kind of riding that wave, and then just picked up jewelry again. Now I'm making beaded, <laughs> beaded necklaces. And this is just, isn't this so cute? I just love this so much. It's just so therapeutic, and it's easy, because just like, I've been talking this entire time, and this is just all I've been doing. Isn't this so much fun? Look at us. We're like on a little little jewelry making um, date. I don't know. That's how uh, my art journey has been going. Just kind of on and off. When I get tired of one thing, I move on to the next. Uh, each time, getting a little bit better. Eventually I'll have a whole... Uh, that's what I haven't been doing. I haven't been using these rocks. My quartzite rocks. Eventually I'll have a whole little arsenal of crafts and 
things I can do and sell. Hello. I actually had to switch sides because, oh, the wind. How wonderful. Is it going to knock over my camera? Let's find out. I had to switch sides because the sun came out and I want the sun to face me instead of burn my back. Art journey has taken... is actually quite, quite routine now that I think about it. Everything is turned around now. Where am I picking from? <laughs> like, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna stick to one thing. I'm gonna do whatever I want, whenever I want, and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. But then I realize that, uh, looks like I've been sticking to a routine anyway. So, I'm almost done with this necklace. Isn't that fun? Oh, I was gonna talk about Kathleen. I wanna talk about how we met, because I think it's hilarious. When we first became friends, um, I was first friends with Abby and Audrey, those girls I was talking about earlier. Kathleen had just moved into the house in front of theirs, and one day I went out there, and it was a really, really hot day outside, you know, California being California, look at the grass. The ice cream truck would go, would go around, and I guess the ice cream truck had just gone by, and me being me, I missed it. Uh, but I went out there on my little Razor scooter, and I was riding down the sidewalk, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna go hang out with my friends, my, my bestest friends in the whole wide world. Oh, wait, who the fuck is that? And they're hanging out with some other girl, some other, you know, some other girl. <laughs> I was like, um, excuse me, who are you? Why are you talking to my friends? I mean, obviously I didn't say that out loud because I was a child, so I said hello, and... I was like, okay, who are you? And then she was like, my name's Kathleen. And I was like, okay, cool, my name is B. And then I saw that she was drinking, drinking, eating a Powerpuff ice cream. If you're familiar with ice cream truck uh, ice creams, it was the bubbles, like bubble gum ice cream. So she had like bubble gum balls as eyes. And um, it was kind of creepy, but she was halfway done with it and she decided she didn't want it anymore and me being me hungry as always i asked her if i could have it and she said yes and that was the beginning of our beautiful beautiful friendship that has consisted until this day um by the way we were eight the thing about these beads these like children's kind of beads is that the hole for them is like gigantic and they sometimes will eat the seed beads and I don't want it to do that, so I have to find very specific ones so that they don't go through that hole. I really like doing this. I think it's fun. I love making chokers. It is wonderful. I wonder if people are looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm just talking to myself. I don't care. They can mind their business. I hope you're enjoying our little outside jewelry making date. I'm probably going to make two or three more necklaces. Actually, probably just two because this was, this took a long time. <laughs> Here's the finished product. Ow. Of this one. You can't see it because of my shadow. And yeah, I'm gonna make a couple more. So I finished two more necklaces. I finished this one, and you saw a little bit of that. There. And then I finished this one, and you saw a little bit of this one as well. I know they look really tiny, but I promise it's very, very elastic. But yeah, how do I end these? I don't know. Look at that bird. There's a bird over there. I don't know if you could see her. But yeah, I hope you're staying healthy and happy and safe and stay creative, I guess. <laughs>